my channel. Today I've got a mini haul from Mango where I purchased four coats or three coats and a jacket. I'm looking for a smart winter coat. I already have my Zara one that I absolutely love that I bought a couple of years ago. I didn't wear it to start with but then I started wearing it last year and then yeah I've just really worn it a lot. That one's still great but I thought I'd also like to have another long coat um, in a slightly different colour that's maybe a little bit more fitted. That's quite an oversized one so I just thought it'd be nice to have one that's a little bit more tailored and a little bit more fitted. So I looked on Mango and I placed an order for three coats that are potential and also a jacket that I like the look of. I'm really wanting a tweed style blazer like a herringbone. So I've ordered one of those. I'm not sure it's the correct fabric, but it was the kind of, it was the colour and the pattern that I had in mind. So I thought I'd give that a try as well. So I'm going to show you those now. You can see them behind me. And then I'll show you when I cut away how they look. Also in this little vlog, I'm going to add in my recent trip to London. It was supposed to be a vlog in its own right, but I just found that when I was there, it was just so crazy and so busy that I just physically found it difficult to just get the camera out because it was we went on a weekend and the streets were just so busy the shops were just so busy I just just couldn't do it so we didn't get tons of footage so I just thought I would pop them in here and make this vlog a little bit longer as it's only a few items from the hall so yeah we spent two nights in London we stayed at the Westminster Park Plaza I think it was Westminster Park Plaza um, which was a really nice hotel and you'll see some clips in there of that as well it was a very big hotel very busy um, but it was in a great location literally just down the road from big ben and parliament so we were in a good location for that um i've not been to london for probably 10 years or more maybe 10 yeah slightly over 10 years so we went and we decided to be tourists again and to see all the sites we went to big ben parliament horse guards um i did get a few shots of that did quite a lot of walking just exploring so to be honest was absolutely worn out afterwards um, from all of the walking it was definitely good exercise and we went along oxford street as well went in all of the shops that i was supposed to vlog because i did do an intro in the hotel and i was intending to vlog oxford street but yeah it was so busy and we were just in and out of shops i just didn't really get a chance and i was just really wanted to take it all in as well so yeah and then we also popped to harrods which was nice and yeah i just had an explore and yeah on a saturday night we went to see um back to the future which i 100 percent recommend it was absolutely brilliant so if you like a london show even if you don't like a Lon even if you don't like musicals go and see it because after seeing it you will like them because it was it was brilliant I definitely recommend any of these London shows because the way that they do the set designs and just how they imagine them up and just bring them to life on stage is just amazing. So if you've never seen any, definitely put that on your to-do list because Back to the Future, Les Mis, Phantom of the Opera, I can definitely recommend Chicago, um, Sound of Music I saw but they don't do that's not on anymore but that was amazing as well everyone that i've been to see i've not been disappointed so there's a lot more on my list that i would like to go and see so hopefully i'll get to do that and we can go back i think if i went back i'd go in the week so hopefully it might be a little bit quieter um i know it's a city so it's always going to be busy but yeah i think maybe if i went on a weekday some of the shops might be a little bit less busy um and it was it was also half term as well so yeah, so it could have been a lot busier at this time so but yeah so i hope you enjoy the footage so this was the jacket that i picked up and this is in like a check and it's in the nice and it's in really nice brown tones so i thought that would be lovely for autumn um it's not actually in like a tweed material which is really what i was after it is like a smooth blazer material um but nonetheless it's still very cute and yeah the perfect sort of colors and pattern that i was after so i'm definitely going to give this a try pick this up in an extra small so see how that looks but yeah i love the um love the color it's really nice so the first coat that i picked up was this really nice one 
which is in like a cream colour. It's really soft. It says it's wool and I picked this up again in an extra small. Um, and yeah, I really love this colour. I think it looks so chic and really just fresh for autumn and winter. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd give this a try. It doesn't look too oversized. I didn't really want one that was too oversized. I didn't mind one that was going to be like a little oversized this time. Yeah, give this one a try. The next coat that I picked up was this gorgeous, I would say this purpley burgundy colour. Maybe a mulberry colour, maybe like a mulberry. It's like a really deep sort of purple colour. It's different to the jacket that I'm wearing, which I, I suppose I would describe as burgundy. I'm trying to think what burgundy is now. Is burgundy red or purple? <clears throat> I'm not sure anyway. So it is like a nice deep purple colour, which again, this is, these sort of tones are really um, on trend this season. So I had a coat in this sort of colour before and I wore it so much. That was a few years ago. Um, I just wore it out. So I thought this one looked very nice. And yeah, I thought I would give this one a try. It's a long coat. And again, it feels really soft and it says Italian wool. And again, picked it up in an extra small. This last one, I absolutely love this colour. I would describe it as sort of a mauve colour, which is like a beigey brown colour. Um, I feel like this is going to have an oversized fit to it. It's quite wide. Again, quite structured in a sense, but um, yeah. So again, wool, extra small. And yeah, it's got more of a, a wider fit to this one by the looks of it. Um, pockets and just these two buttons on the front and the nice like, kind of blazer sort of collar. Well, yeah, I really love this collar. I think this is a really nice collar again for the autumn and winter. It's just a really warm collar. Um, be nice styled up with some this up with some of my favourite barber scarves and some um, like tartan scarves or something like that. So yeah, I love this. Gonna give that a try. This is the room they've given us. They've actually just upgraded us and given us a room with a view, which that's the view. But I guess that was better than what we were supposed to have. <laughs> view of the wind and eye in the street. Changed, just changed my shoes because my feet were really hurting in them boots so I've just put my 
trusty Timberlands on. And we're going to head out for another walk now. And then I think we're just going to come back to the hotel for dinner in a bit. Here we go again. It's our second day in London and this is my outfit for today. I've just got on this new polo neck. Roll neck? Polo neck? Roll neck from Next, which is in this like nice khaki colour. It's a really lovely green colour. And I've just got on my skinny jeans, Holland Cooper Bell, and my trusty Timberland Allingtons. I did wear my knee high boots when I was walking around yesterday. We walked a lot, and my feet did hurt a little bit after, so these are a little bit more comfy, I think. So. I'm going to put these on today and I've got my big coat to put on as well because I think it's going to be a little bit chillier today so it's going to be about 10 or 11 degrees so it might be a little bit chilly although I think in the city it just feels warmer because it's so built up yesterday was quite warm so yeah so we're going to go and find somewhere to have breakfast because I'm super hungry now it's about quarter to nine, I think now. I did actually get up early this morning, which is a change for me. So, yeah, so I think we're going to go and find the shops today and have a wander around those. We want to go to Harrods, probably Oxford Street. I think we want to look for Azara, River Island, and we want to go to the Jellycat shop as well, which I don't know if that's in Selfridges or they, they have their own shop. So, yeah, so a bit of retail therapy this morning, which me and my niece are quite looking forward to. Not sure about the guys, but, you know, oh well. <laughs> we'll do something different later. Later we're going to dinner at the Ivy in Covent Garden. And then tonight we've got Back to the Future at the Adelphi, which is near Covent Garden as well, I think. So, um... Yeah, looking forward to that. So yeah, now I'd like to find somewhere where I can get some like pancakes or something. And some maple syrup would be nice. So yeah, I'm kind of hungry now. This is our view from the hotel. You can actually see the London Eye a little bit. It's not bad. Actually, when I got up at half seven this morning, it was actually bright. When I've been getting up at home, it's been so dark. So, I don't know what that was about. We haven't even changed the clocks yet. But anyway. This hotel is actually really nice. We're staying at the Westminster Park Plaza, which is a Radisson hotel. And yes, it's huge. And yeah, it's really nice. They did upgrade our room to, I think it was a superior, superior room. I don't know. I can't remember what she said now. But basically, we've got sort of two bedrooms in here. Um, so it's quite big for a London room. Um, I, I did put some clips at the beginning of the video. So yeah, so they upgraded us and gave us a room with a partial view, which was nice. So yeah, really nice hotel, nice bar area. It's quite dark in the reception and everything. It's like they need to turn the lights up a little bit, but it's quite, it gives it a nice vibe. But yeah, it's huge. There's about four restaurants in here. There's a There's a pool as well which looks nice and yeah so yeah it's nice and it's in a good location because yesterday we went for a walk around the whole Westminster area so we went we just stumbled upon Downing Street and the horse guards parade which was really nice to see and actually really seeing the horses in real life because I've not seen horses up close for, for like quite a while and now it's made me want to go horse riding again just being near a horse has just made me really want to go horse riding but yeah maybe <laughs> and actually you can do you can actually go um horse riding in Hyde Park you don't need to be experienced I think you can you can go as a beginner and then they will walk you round so I'd quite love to do that but obviously not on this trip but maybe a future trip if we get to come back at some point maybe that would be nice to do in the spring or somewhere I'd love to do that yeah, it's been it's been a few years since I've been on a horse now, but I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. 
So, yeah, we'll see on that one. But, um, yeah, so we went through Horse Guards Parade. And then we just walked around. We went, walked up to Leicester Square. Went into the Costa that was actually in the Odeon Cinema, actually. Got a bite to eat in there. And... Yeah, we just... Oh, we walked up to Buckingham Palace. Had some cake at Buckingham Palace. Not in the palace, I just took it with me and then decided to eat it when I got there. My Costa cake, my lemon drizzle cake, which was scrummy. They don't make... They don't sell them by us anymore. The Costas, where we live, they don't have those anymore. And they were the best cakes. So, yeah, I had cake at the palace. And... Then it was raining. It was raining quite a lot. Um, but we sheltered through the trees. There was no thunder or anything, so we just sheltered through the trees in the parks, which was good. And, um, yeah. So we got back. We got a little bit wet, but to be fair, it wasn't cold, so the rain didn't really matter that much. We got a little bit wet, but that was all. And then we came back to the hotel. And then... Had a shower and everything, got ready for dinner. I know we did go for another little walk. Just went for, oh yeah, and then later on we went for a walk round along the Thames by the London Eye. And we seen the little carousel and there was a guy there doing a Houdini act. And yeah, so that was quite good. That was nice to see the London Eye and everything lit up at night. So I don't think I've ever been down there, unlike Big Ben and everything. Plus it was quite a nice skyline, it was like pink sky, which made me think that today was going to be quite a nice day, but supposedly it's not going to be that warm, but I'm just going to put a big coat on and be fine, because we're going to be in and out of shops um, for a little while. And yeah, I think we want to try and see a couple of sites today. We want to go to try and find St Paul's Cathedral. St Paul's Cathedral? Yeah, a Westminster, blah, 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 Westminster Abbey and yeah i'm not sure what else we wanted to go to um we wanted to go to the london dungeon the london maybe i can't remember but i think maybe for tomorrow so yeah so the one thing i really want to do today is go to harrods and just have a wander around there because even if I don't buy anything, I just love to look at all the stuff. Um, we were actually talking about, like, Gucci stuff last night. Funnily enough, we were just we were talking about clothes and bags and stuff. And we were talking about Gucci. And then when we just went up to the room last night, we went up just to have some, um, have some chocolate biscuits. <laughs> and uh, taking our makeup off, we were watching the telly. We put the telly on and it was the Gucci movie on there. I said it's quite a good film, actually, the Lady Gaga in it. And I was like, how random is that? We've just been talking about Gucci and now the Gucci film's on. So, yeah, now we want to go and look at Gucci and Harrods. So, definitely. As I said in my Paris vlog, I think. I love to go to, like, museums and stuff. But I also love department stores because I just think handbags and stuff, they're, like, in fashion. It's just an art in its own form. So I love to look at things like that. And also Harrods, the food court, is just amazing and you just have to see it. So I'm trying to vlog as much as I can. I'll probably just insert the footage maybe with some music. Now I've waffled on for a little bit because you don't want to listen to me going on all the time, do you? <laughs> I've had a little bit of a catch-up and told you what we're doing. So yeah, I'll probably put in some clips of where we go. And yeah, catch up again later. Also, I didn't do a very good job of straightening my hair, did I? It's all frizzy. But, yeah. <laughs> it's all frizzy. Oh, well, never mind. I hope we don't get rained on again today. Although, the hotel, they've got umbrellas that you can just borrow for 48 hours. So, my hair is... Yeah, I'm supposed to have a fringe. It's supposed to look like this. Maybe I should have put some gel on. Oh, I did just get my hair cut, but... Yeah. The fringe just doesn't fringe. The bangs, it's just not banging. <laughs> so I'm just going to get my coat on now and see where everybody is. 
So yeah, I'm popped on my big Zara coat today because it's nice and cosy. If it does get cold, um, I can wrap it around me. But this jumper that I'm wearing is quite thin. So if I do get too hot, I'll just open the coat. And this is it's quite a baggy one, so at least it's not, you know. But I, I love this coat. It's like a really oversized one. I actually bought this a couple of years ago now, but I didn't actually wear it the first year that I bought it. It was kind of one of them coats, so I was like, I don't know if I really like it. And then I started wearing it, and I was like, yeah, I love it now. So, um, still in the market for a new winter coat this year, like a smart one. So I might have a look today and see if there's anything out there that I like. Because, yeah, I'd, just, I'd like one a little bit more tailored, not so oversized. There's a bit of a difference. But yeah, so this is me. My little m &S bag again, which I love. So yeah, outfit for today. <laughs> I did film of my little trip to London so thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one I love it if you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you'll get a little notification when I post another video so thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next one bye guys <laughs>